Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining this OncLive Peer Exchange video editorial series. This video series will feature expert panel discussions with a focus on current and emerging therapies for lung cancer. Hello, I'm Corey Langer, Director of Thoracic Oncology at the Abramson Cancer Center and Professor of Medicine in the Hematology Oncology Division at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm joined today by a distinguished panel, Roy Herp. Ensign Professor of Medicine and Chief of Medical Oncology at the Yale Cancer Center, Karen Reckamp, Associate Professor of Medicine, City of Hope and Beckman Research Institute, Everett Vokes, John Oldman Professor and Chairman, Department of Medicine, University of Chicago, and Ann Sow, Director of the Mesothelioma Program at the University of Texas MD Anderson Comprehensive Cancer Center. So let's get uh, started with a case scenario of an elderly patient with squamous cell, non-small cell uh, lung cancer. This is a 77-year-old individual, uh, really quite functional, uh, presents with right upper quadrant pain and cough. Chest X-ray shows a right upper lobe mass. Uh, CAT scan confirms a 4 centimeter spiculated lesion in the right upper lobe, uh, as well as uh, hepatic uh, metastases or lesions that at least look compatible with metastases. Physical exam by uh, his uh, primary uh, care physician reveals a right supraclavicular node as well as uh, ronchi at the right base. And uh, he ultimately undergoes a uh, core biopsy of the node, which uh, shows fairly pure squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, and this is a typical patient that we would uh, often see in our uh, clinic setting. His performance status is intact. He's still playing golf, he wants to remain active, and he wants to live. How would you manage this sort of individual? Well, Corey, absolutely. The elderly population, we know that age isn't the only criteria. We have to look at performance status. So in a patient who's got a PS of 1, um, I certainly would be very much in favor of giving him a platinum-based doublet. Now, my usual go-to regimens would be a platinum taxane, usually carboplatin, and usually either paclitaxel or docetaxel. Whether or not you want to give it weekly or every three weeks, I think depends on their performance status. Um, with that said, I actually do like doing maintenance as well. So I would do four cycles of a platinum taxane and then possibly switch them over to erlotinib. Now that's not to say you can't do other regimens. For instance, platinum gemcitabine would be very reasonable as well. Platinum abraxane, um, and then certainly the weekly schedule with one of the taxanes as well. Uh, why? Uh platinum uh, napaclitaxel or abraxane, why would you consider that? Well, so we know that abraxane, you can potentially give a little bit more um, of the taxane into the patients with less neuropathy, and that does tend to be a problem in our elderly population who might have diabetes and a pre-existing neuropathy. So that might be a very reasonable choice for them. And then the phase three trial that actually compared that regimen, the yeah. weekly regimen with uh, Q3 week carbo versus a standard Pat Carbo Q3 week regimen, at least in a post hoc analysis, mm -hmm. suggested a real survival Said advantage that it might in have the elderly. It. Uh, mm -hmm. whether or not that but whether or not it's that you actually get the treatment mm -hmm. into them versus the schedule is hard to decide. Karen, what do you think uh, is uh, crucial here? Is it uh, uh, the drugs or the uh, dosing or the schedule? And how would you manage this sort of uh, fairly typical patient, maybe for the East Coast more so, more so than the West Coast, but uh, nevertheless, a uh, patient I would uh, typically see probably once a week in my clinic? Oh, we see these patients all the time. But I think that um, this brings up the data from the Keogh trial, um, the French trial that uh, looked at carboplatin um, and weekly paclitaxel in the elderly versus um, either nabilbine or gemcitabine as single agents. And so, um, and this study showed a clear benefit for patients receiving doublet chemotherapy. Um, and so I think giving the patient um, the doublet is the important thing. Um, as far as dosing, when you give a weekly dosing, it's possible that you might be able to give more of the dose and moderate toxicity better that way. Um, and as far as uh, the actual drug, whether it's uh, gemcitabine with platinum or nabpaclitaxel or paclitaxel, I think all have their own benefits, but the doublet is the important part. The one drug you wouldn't use here because of the histology would be pemetrexel. Exactly. And do you think uh, that the uh, data uh, from the, the French trial, the quad trial, are sufficient to routinely uh, justify a doublet, or would you, are there circumstances where you'd give a single agent? 
I think that still toxicity is more in patients, um, elderly patients who receive doublet mm -hmm. chemotherapy, so we need to look carefully at performance status, but um, there were a number of patients who had performance status two in that trial and still tolerated the doublet. Um, but we need to look at um, their comorbidities and uh, functioning status. And also what is very important is helping uh, to know what a patient's goals are and what's important to them to make the decision. So that they're motivated uh, and are willing to accept the higher level of toxicity. Exactly. You would uh, consider it. Uh, Roy, what's your take on this situation? How well, would you uh, typically manage this sort of patient? I would agree. Uh, I think the data would support giving this patient a platinum doublet. I would, however, focus a bit more on quality of life in, in this individual, uh, realizing that we're using a palliative reg regimen. Uh, you mentioned that he plays golf. I've tried to play that a bit myself, and it's it's a tough game. And would that influence the choice of partner agent with the platinum? I think so. I think you know I, the 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 NAB paclitaxel data. I think are are encouraging. I've used that a bit. Uh, Gem cytobine. I think you know any of these are, are reasonable regimens, but I might um, you know steer a little bit more towards those, given what we've heard about him and realizing that they were treating in a palliative way.